Ah, we had it turned the wrong way. I'm not gonna sound very good in the last videos. What's up crew? Welcome to another Motivational Monday. My name is John Connie, AKA Big Man Syndrome. And if you're not a part of the crew, well, what the hell are you? I just got done recording two other videos and this is gonna be the third one. I think this is what I'm gonna try to do on Sundays if I have the time during Dylan's nap to get a chunk of videos done so that I have some content for the week. So that way I don't have to worry about trying to hit autofocus so bad. So that way I don't have to worry about trying to create content throughout the week when things start to go south. As my schedule gets busier, it's probably smarter for me to set a, a certain amount of, it's to set my expectations to where I'm probably not gonna get much done during the week. That's on the fly. So trying to get stuff done during the weekend uh, while I have the time is gonna be my best option. So if you haven't checked out those videos, uh, maybe I haven't uploaded them yet. This might, this is probably gonna go up first. Uh, so stay tuned for the unboxing of the fifth keto box that I've received, as well as the product review for Le Ridge Wallet. Really excited for this guy. I shouldn't let that out of focus. Really excited to rep this one. Without further ado, we're going to talk about goals, setting them and completing them. And again, Motivational Monday is gonna be a little bit different. I'm not trying to be Tony Robbins, not trying to create this series of like me motivating you directly. What I hope to do is sit down and talk about what's on my mind and in the process, maybe it will, you know, spark something in your mind that changes your way of thinking about certain stuff. What's been on my mind lately is setting goals and whether or not those are attainable or you know just the idea of goals to completion. I think it's really important to have goals. It's important to set a milestone, if you will. And I think the best advice that comes out of goal setting from others that I've heard is setting very, very, I wanna say tight goals. Goals that actually have an end date. Goals that are actually tangible that you know are possible. Saying, I wanna grow my YouTube channel is a very lofty goal. It doesn't mean anything to anybody. That just means that you, you want it to you know, just continue to go upward. Specifically, what is that number that you want to hit? So I did my, I'll, 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 I'll get down, get down. Share with you one of my goals for next year, and it has to do with the uh, the property shoots. I shot my first property on Wednesday of last week, turned it in on Friday, and the the ones who kind of asked me to do this to to test me out said they liked the video. With that said, I'm hoping that obviously I get their business. I'm able to work with them to shoot as many properties as I'm capable of doing. And so the specific goals that I have with that business model is to start shooting three to four a month from now, now-ish, maybe starting October, October, November, December. And from there, either add one per month or in January, start taking on uh, closer to 10 per month. Once I get to 10 per month, I think that's gonna be sort of my uh, threshold as far as working on my own with this. And my goal would be probably June of next year to start looking to hire others to help me out with that business. So that's, that's the specific goal as far as big man media and business growth is concerned. I don't really have any specific goals for this channel because I've had enough crash and burn moments for this channel to where I finally decided that this is just going to be sort of what it is. You know, I create content whenever I have the ability to do so. So that brings me to that point. It is very, very important to set goals, but it is also super, super important to set expectations as well. And I've said this before, obviously there was like this weird contradictory moment when I set this expectation that I was going to do a 30 day challenge, that I was going to do 30 days of adding a round of Cindy every single day. And it fell apart due to travel, due to mindset, due to who, all the different excuses that you could potentially come up with. But it's important to set those types of goals because if you don't do that, then what are you, what are you working for? What are you doing? I'm rambling right now, so sorry if this is starting to go all over the place, but because there's something to be said about the type of person you are, and I did mention this in a video in the past, where you know you can set goals, but you need to decide what type of person you are. Are you the type of person that thrives off of attention from others if you tell others that you're trying to do uh, X by Z? Uh, or are you the type of person who needs to internalize it and because if you tell somebody, it becomes extra stressful, and for whatever reason, that help that makes you crash and burn. I'm that second person, so 
I typically don't like to now after realizing it finally, I don't typically like to share my goals because then I have this crazy expectation to accomplish it. That stress just buries me in the ground. But anyways, I think I've, I've rambled enough. Bringing it in to sort of why I wanted to sit down and why this was on my mind and why I felt it was important enough to discuss with you guys. And that is simply put, goals are super important, but don't let setting the goal dictate your life if that makes sense it's like half motivational and half realistic i like to be a realist uh, a lot of people in the no small creator group that i belong to probably realize by now that i am the the person who likes to ground others and whether or not that's my you know job that's my role that's what i'm supposed to do I like to do it. You know, when somebody sounds way too up here, I like to bring them back down to here. I don't want to bring them underneath. I don't want to be mean, even though sometimes I probably end up being that way, but I want them to understand that. And why am I going into this right now? Cut it off, cut it off right there. So what would I want you to take away from this video? I want you to set goals. I want to set goals. Take a, a, a page from a previous video in that Decide what type of person you are. Do you thrive off of others knowing that you have a certain goal or do you need to internalize it to achieve it so that you don't have extra stress to finish? But whichever person you are, realize that things happen. Goals are just milestones, okay? And if you set a date and you miss that date, move that date up. Don't let it derail you completely because there's always an opportunity to complete a goal in the future but i think i'm just gonna cut it off there honestly i i have no idea if any of that made sense i don't know if this is gonna ever make sense motivational mondays uh because if i'm gonna sit down and honestly just give you what's on my mind poof, i don't know if you want to even spend a minute in my brain it's that's gonna be it for today i hope you enjoyed it if you're new join the crew for god's sakes go down hit that subscribe button Ring the bell if you really want to, and uh, yeah, just, <laughs> come on, I just, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. But if you're not new, tap and go to that like button, leave a comment, share this video. Those are the things that help grow the crew. And until the next one, I'll see you later, crew. That's the third time I've said it. Man, that is, I, I, I don't even know. Bad.